Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and in today's video in today's video uh this is a new season new season of GBL just started so I'm like okay let's just play some fun teams okay so we decided to run Tapu Vini I don't have nature madness yet I'm still trying to get a good IV uh with Feraligator Shadow and Giratina the Feraligator was swapped by uh, two Arctabacks later in the game because I was just simply weak to Lickitung and I thought like these are rank one battles okay no one is trying you're just having fun like me and then like we hit with two lickies and the licky would just swept the entire team <laughs> so we're like okay let's just run arctabacks but i don't know if these are the arctabacks videos or the g the filaligator uh the grind just started new we have a new season and the fun just started again and over and over okay they have a fire pokemon we destroy fires and psychic with this team they swapped into a venusaur and in great league this is not a fun matchup for the giratina because trust uh, if they have a shadow venus or they can actually farm down uh, the giratina after landing a frenzy so there's going to be an awkward moment here so i have to match the shield now because this is my only answer to the venus i'm lagging like like hell like what the heck is that uh we're throwing ominous ones here have the shield and since we're able to tank a move, which means we are supposed to outpiece, uh, they swapped into a Whiskash. I'm like, let me just Shadow Ball them, then swap out. Because I don't have a Whiskash answer. So I'm counting here. I'm going to do four more and then swap out. Let's already throw out a uh, higher one, two, three, four, five. Why didn't they throw? Oh, that was Water Gun. Never mind. They, they had Water Gun Whiskash. So they just had the wrong moveset. That's why I, I, I overfarmed. And they brought the Victini back. But the Victini is going to be dead in one charge move. Filaligator is sweeping an entire team. Okay, moving into the next one. We have a Charizard. Amazing lead. This, we destroyed this Pokemon with three. All of, uh, all of our team loves to see this. They swap into Basti. I have two waters. But trust me. The two waters don't ha like handle Basti uh, decently. So I decided to throw a move and swap out. So we're going to shield, and I'm going to do, I think, nine fast moves then throw. Yeah, uh, timing here, I wasn't, like, I didn't throw in good timing intentionally because I did not expect them to shield, but they ha somehow did. So that's like, you know, like, that was an unfortunate event. So what do we do now? We no shield here, we go get Atina, and we farm them all the way down, Okay. Oh my, what are these lags? But by the way, yesterday when I played the game, it was horribly lagging. Like, lagging so hard. I don't know if you guys played, but the game yesterday was so bad. And someone now like is like, yes, it's not just yesterday, it's every day. So they bring in as we're going to Shadow Ball it and then go to Tapu Fini and go for the Moon Blast. If you have Nature's Madness, it's a million times better, by the way. Uh, I'm still trying to get a good IV one, but I still am not lucky enough. I've done like a, around like I think a 50 trades for the Tapu Fini trying to get a good IV and I still couldn't. So I don't know. Uh, how about you guys? Are you guys, do you guys have like a great Tapu Fini IVs or are you just like running whatever 1500 CP or low or lower that you got? Uh, Dawn fan, we win this, but it's a bit awkward because okay, never mind. They have non stab charm. Okay, if you want to run Dawn fan, you have to run uh, counter and then they swap in Snorlax. I'm like, why Snorlax is half HP? Turns out it's a 200 CP Snorlax. <laughs> okay, moving into the next one. Uh, Mantine into the lead. If you have Nature's Madness on the Tapu Fini, you actually stay in. If you don't, you can swap out. Because it's just going to be extremely risky. They swap and Venusaur. But it's Razor Leaf Venusaur. What the heck is happening? Why would someone run Razor Leaf Venusaur? When like Shadow Vic exists. So I have to shield here because I don't have another answer. And I don't want to get farmed down. Because if I don't shield there, trust me, I will get fast moved down. Giratina and Great League is not, is not tanky. Uh, they brought in the Mantine. And now we're just going straight for the move. I'm shielding here. I'm hoping that they don't have Bubble Beam. But they do have Bubble Beam. Which means I'm going to tank another one. So I'm going to tank a, a Bubble Beam and then swap out. Because there is no point of throwing that charge move. It does no damage at this point with double debuffed. And I still need to throw another charge move. So we're going to swap out. Go for the nuke. And they brought in the Terminator. There is, there was a frame drop there, so it's not my 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 mistake that like the timing. Look at the game, like look.
Like, I'm not even... Like, that That wasn't me pausing. That was literally my gameplay. Like, just, w just wait. No, we already missed it. Okay, let's see. See? I'm not touching the game. See, the game froze for like two seconds. And they were able... I was able only to get three water guns instead of five. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, we brought in the Giratina. We're gonna throw on four. Because uh, if you throw on four and KO, the incinerate won't register. And now we're just going straight for the Shadow Ball. And Giratina here is actually sweeping the team. Oh, wow. Okay, moving into the next game. We have Tapu Fini into Hunter. If they have Shadow Punch, I'm going to swap out eventually. What the heck? That's Astonish. Yo, that's Astonish. Astonish is actually bad. It's not... It's average. Let's still just say it's average. And they have a nuke. Oh my, the lag is horrible, dude. I have the battles on 1.5 speed. So it, do it doesn't look as laggy as it, lo it, it, as it was. Because, you know, the lag will be... Will be faster than when it happened. Uh, since we landed the move, we can just swap out Insta Throw. I throw it on bad timing because if you KO here, the fast move doesn't register. So that's why we throw on bad timing. They have Vaporeon and we should win this game. So uh, I genuinely enjoy the rank 1 battles, like seeing this uh, random stuff. And I don't have to play a hardcore meta team. Now someone be chat be like, oh, this is meta team. What are you talking about? I'm like, okay, dude, sure. Yeah, you see a Skarmory. You see a Polyrath. You see an Ilib, right? You see an Azu. You see Amanda Buzz, right? Oh, Tapu Fini is similar to, to Azu. Stop saying this is not a meta team. These comments sometimes, I swear, it's like, it's like, dude. If, if these are your comments, then you don't know what is happening. You don't know what meta actually is. What meta actually is. Uh, so, the thing is, if you have Nature's Madness, you would win the 0-1 shield here. Okay? If you have Moonblast, you also win the 0-1 shield. But if you have Nature's Madness, it's much easier because you debuff them. I aggressively swapped out. And remember that within this team, we have three hot counters to the Annihilate, which I'm expecting everyone to run. So the good thing about Shadow Fear Alligator is that you could farm them down. But it also takes so much damage. I decided to call a bait there for no reason. But it was actually a great call. Because look at that. We didn't even need the shield. They, I, If I need to get this move off to make the game uh, end much faster. And we luckily were able to. That's why a good IV is good, great to have. I swapped here and I'm like... You need to throw by, by, by the way. We still have two shields and a full HP Pokemon. So that game wasn't even close. We've, we're getting sniped by Shady Asian. And he's gonna... Dude, he's gonna... Look, look at this guy. That, that's a meta team. Dragonair, Shadow Whiskash, and a freaking Skarmory in the back. In rank 2. This guy is no fun. What the... What was that? <laughs> I'm like... And like, I don't beat Shadow Dragonair. By the way, Drag Shadow Dragonair, if it's a good IV, it does beat Tapu Fini. Okay? Because it is a Water Gun breakpoint, I think. And if you have it, Water Gun does the same amount of damage as Dragon Breath. But they outpace you since they get to the Body Slam faster. Uh, so I still can't shield because I'm not expecting him to shield. Because he knows that I don't have Ice, ice Beam. And now, it's going to be Tapu Fini. And I'm going to Insta Throw. And hopefully, he does not shield. He does shield. Okay, we screwed. Yeah, there is no point. Uh, there is no way I'm, I'm passing that Pokemon. Uh, he goes to Skarm. I need to chip it a bit, but, but... But... There is no way to kill the dragon here now, right? So, he didn't shield. Now we go to Giratina. He was watching the video, <laughs> the, the stream, so he knows that I have a Giratina. But I don't expect him. Like I'm not saying that he was... You know, he changed the gameplay based on my team. No, he's a phenomenal player. And he knows what to do without even looking at my team. So, GG, Mr. Meta Slave in rank 1. <laughs> Moving to the next battle. We have a Golbat. My guy. Okay, we, we're running Arctabax now. So, Arctabax is, 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 is nice and is tanky. So, they swap into Umbreon. Uh, uh, 1v1, I think Arctabax beat Umbreon. Because you have Icy Wind. They don't. Uh, we, we lagged there and we lost one Dragon Breath. So now I hope to get to the Icy Wind again. Uh, I feel on bad timing because if you throw on good timing, you just die with the move there. So this is actually the, the, the correct play to do it. Now I'm just going to go to go back to my Tapu Fini and farm them all the way down. I'm not going to throw anything because they are double debuffed and there is no reason to just throw there. 
Okay, they brought in Lantern. I'm just gonna Moon Blast to make my life easier and faster. And then go back to Giratina to finish this game faster. Okay, opponent swapped back to Goldbat. And now all we need to do is just going straight these uh, ominous ones. Because they will shield 100%. We get the boost. Let's go. We, we will finish the game 100% faster now. I should have called the bait there. But I was like, I want to finish the game faster. Okay. So if I go to Alpha Phoenix, it's just going to take longer. We didn't shield bait because we shielded a bait there. We shielded a bait because we wanted to end the game faster. Okay. So here... We called the bait because opponent is just, you know, disrespecting, not even building for the Shadow Ball. So I'm like, okay, if you're going to do that, I'm just going to no, like, no shield. And the Shadow Ball did enough damage to KO, uh, to KO there and moving now. Is that the last game? No, we have two more. Skullage has nowhere to go. They swap into Dugong. So if they swap into Dugong, actually stay in, throw the Nature's Madness, and then swap out. Okay, they did not shield. That did lots of damage, honestly. Uh, they will drill run here, and I'm just going to swap out. They will. They should die with the move. So that's where Arctabax is is nice. Arctabax is the ice Pokemon that beats the other ice, and it's the dragon that doesn't lose to ice. So that's how you you think about Arctabax. It's like a an amazing Pokemon. I lag there for a turn for some reason. Now we're just going to shield. I'm going to straight for the ice. Uh, oh my. Dude, the game is horrible. Now, looking at the game, I'm like, wow. These lags are like 10 times worse than it looked when I was playing. Because maybe I was just getting distracted and not looking, uh, not paying attention. Uh, I'm going to commit for the Icy Wind. Getting the Icy Wind means this game is just a GG. And there is no way for them to recover from that. And we get the attack fail. We go to get a Tina. And we finish the game. Moving to the next one. Shadow, Gligar in the lead. Uh, we can, we do have like a great counter to Shadow Gligar. But the thing is, we don't have any answer for the Vigoroth. So this is where, like, you want to run a different dragon. I mistimed my move here because I just miscounted. Uh, they did not shield, and which me which makes it e 10 times easier for me. Now I'm just going to, I think, double shield farm all the way down. This is actually a crazy game. Like, I, if, if, I, if this is the one I, I was talking about. So, because we threw in bad timing, opponent was able to get to another move. So now they brought in the Gligar, which is actually a, a very smart play by them. Because they can farm me down. But the thing is, I'm going to go, I'm going to take down their shields. But the thing is, usually if, if you see a water Pokemon, that means it's the only Gligar answer. And that's a smart play by them. Because now they will throw a dig. And then swap out. And it's a G-Fisk. And G-Fisk beats Arctabax and Giratina. But I was able to throw another charge move here. So now, if they over farm, I'm gonna over farm too. So, uh, sorry, if they over farm, I'm gonna get to a move. So now we're in a tough situation, but this is not a GG yet, okay? Because we're gonna go get a Tina, and we need to count on point, okay? We can't miscount here. So I need to throw in five. Sorry, I need to throw before the EQ, not the Rock Slide. Because I know I survived the Rock Slide. They swap in Gligar, and this is where we need the Shadow Ball. Okay, and now we can just commit to the Shadow Ball, and this should be a good game. Uh, their mistake is that they didn't commit to the EQ. If they committed to the EQ, they win the game, but they didn't. They thought, like, a Rock Slide can do it, which doesn't. And that was the last game, so yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. This is the end of the video. If you guys like these videos, please leave a like. Me on to the channel, subscribe, and see you in the next. And uh, the new season, like, st we still didn't get an update on the moveset because there was a regional in Europe now going on, which is very understandable. So after Monday, we will, Monday and after, we will get the new moves. If you are interested in you featuring your battles, please uh, record your battles, upload them to uh, Google Drive, and send me a link on Discord, okay? There is a link down below also for the battle submission, but if you want to do it faster and easier... Just upload them and send me a DM on Discord. And yeah, that's it for today. Best of luck for everyone trying to achieve a new milestone. And yeah, new season just started. So the grind also just started. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.